I'm Angela Arthur, the microbiology technician for the Department of Biology. So currently we're in my office where I do the majority of my record keeping and data entry and ordering of supplies. And some of my supplies are actually stored just right in my office in this storage area. And the rest are stored in various spots in my work area. And that's where we're just about to go. This is the lab workspace where I prepare the materials for the student labs. And I have actually set up a display of some of the materials that I create on a weekly basis just over here. Okay, for my first example, these solutions were prepared for the Biology 100 teaching lab. And um, there's 15 liters of different types of solutions from starch to salts to glucose and albumin. Uh, next, I have some reagents that I prepared for Microbiology 220. And these reagents are used to perform different types of tests to help identify the microbe that the students are working with. Next are some different types of solutions and uh, there's Gram's iodine which is used in microbiology 220 in, for gram stains and then there's an NaOH uh, salt solution for biology 100 that was created for them to do different tests as well. Next I have some plate agar and I create many different kinds as you can see. This is created for food microbiology and also Microbiology 220. I often prepare anywhere from 300 to 500 plates per week for, these, for both courses. This is the different tube media that I prepare for Food Microbiology and Introduction to Microbiology 220. I've got slants here, broth, some dilution blanks, and a DC test, which is a sugar test. And this is some of the equipment that I use to prepare materials for the lab. Uh, this is a dosit meter. It measures out volumes and disperses it into the uh, test tubes individually. And so I'm able to move quite quickly when I'm creating different materials. And this, without this machine, it would, I wouldn't be able to do the volumes that I do. Uh, it would take too long. The next item is a heat and stir plate. So what it does is it stirs up solutions for me and it makes the solutions homogenous very quickly and it also can heat the solution up, which is absolutely necessary when I'm um, heating up solutions that cannot be sterilized in the autoclave. The next two pieces of equipment are different types of balances that I use to measure out chemicals and other substances. And this is the autoclave room where I sterilize all of the waste created from the labs and all of the solutions that are prepared for the labs. The newer autoclave is used for solutions and different equipment and the older autoclave is used mainly for waste. The autoclaves are able to sterilize items using pressurized steam and they reach a temperature of 121 degrees Celsius and they function for a specific amount of time and after that time period the items are sterilized and can be retrieved. And this is the area where I clean all of the glassware. Um, behind you is the sinks where I clean out items that have been autoclaved or items that were not contaminated with microbes. And then I load them up in the scientific dishwasher that gives them a very thorough cleaning. And then after they get out of the dishwasher, um, they're put right into the drying oven so they get a nice, uh, so they are pretty much spotless um, and completely dry after they come out of here. And that concludes our tour of my area. 